I'm going to talk to you about simplifying polynomials. And that's just a complicated thing for combining like terms. Well, before I start going into how to actually simplify these things, let's talk about what, what this means, this polynomials means. All right, so the word pol polynomials, here we are. Now, you might recognize this prefix, poly. Okay, for those that know, poly just means uh, many. That's what poly means. Uh, but now, nomials, to really understand that, it's best to start with the basics. So here, I'll show you the first basic uh, nomial, which we call monomial. Now, a monomial just means one term. For those that don't know the prefix, mono, mono means one. Okay, so monomial just means one term. So if you notice, here's some examples. See so just the number two, number four x, three x cubed, four x squared, y cubed. It's just one thing. All right. Now the next one is a binomial. Now binomials, again the prefix bi means two. So binomial has two terms. See two plus x, four x plus two, three x plus y. The two different things being added or subtracted together. Now the one after binomial, maybe you can guess it, but it is trinomial. Now tri is the prefix for three. So tri means three, so it's three things, three nomials, three terms. Two, x, two plus x plus x squared, four x plus two y plus two. So we'll see three different things, either added or subtracted together. So monomials one, binomials two, trinomials three. Now polynomials just means many. So the polynomials are talking about binomials, trinomials, and onwards. So there's lots. It goes on and on forever. You could have as many terms as you want, but anything that's, that's larger than that, is, these are all polynomials. Now I'll move out that off to the side. So here I'll actually show you an example of what simplifying polynomials means. So here's an example. It looks pretty complicated, but again, it's actually pretty easy. It just means simplifying, making smaller, uh, big things with lots of terms. So all you do is, again, combine like terms. So combining like terms. Now like terms just means the same type of things. So let's go through the problem. And OK, we have 2x squared. So let's look for all the x squared things we can find. So here we have 2x squared. OK, this is 3xy. It's not the same thing. 4, not the same thing. Not the same thing. Now here, see, we have a minus 5x squared. We have x squared and x squared. So we combine them. 2x squared minus 5x squared is negative 3x squared. Now you cross those off your list. Now we look for the next like terms. Okay, so here we have 3xy. So we've got to look for another xy term. Oh, here we go, 2xy. So 3xy plus 2xy is positive 5xy. They work together, so we have 5xy's now. And then we cross them off our list. Now we go to the next one. We have negative 4x, so we've got to look for more x terms. Oh, here we go, we got a positive 9x. 9x and a negative 4x, they work against, so that gives you positive 5x. Now we cross them off our list, so we'll put some red lines through them, bam, bam. And now we have to look for any more like terms, well here, do, 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 do. we're only left with one thing left over at the end, so you just write it at the end, minus 10. And that is our answer. See, we're not solving anything because it says simplify, simplify. Simplify just means make smaller. So all we do is combine the like terms, x squareds, xy's, then the x, and so forth. All right, now it's your turn.